My name is Sarah and I am a Widda. Widda is the oldest etymology of the word witch. Wid means knowledge and da means feminine. Just like with Druid, Dru means oak and wid means knowledge. The Druids study the knowledge of the sacred masculine and the Widda study the knowledge of the sacred feminine. These are the scientists and the educated class of the Celtic indigenous people. I am a globally mixed indigenous scientist. And what I mean by that, since I said globally mixed, is I have Turtle Island indigeneity, and that is the indigeneity that I was raised within and the communities that I was raised within. Um, but my blood and my ancestry is really global. Several people in several continents and several spaces I can trace to every corner of the globe. I was raised off-grid and backwoods from the ages of about 5 to about 10, which means that a lot of my reading, a lot of my early knowledge of anything outside of my family knowledge, which before this have been within Indigenous communities in the Pacific Northwest, my early knowledge was gotten from books that my mother had acquired. She taught me how to read within these books and also brought with this closeness to the land as she taught me herbology and to heal. So with this, this means that I learned to read with archaeology texts and with history books written by Black and Indigenous authors about the true histories of things that had happened. So very early on in life, I had an understanding of life in a perspective that was not mainstream. It took me until I was about 12 years old to really understand that there was an entire society in the United States that I had not really taken a part in till then. Combining this with the fact that I had read a lot of archaeology and anthropology before this, I really took an anthropological view of the United States when I entered into it as a preteen. And I really was able to look at society from an outside step and viewpoint. That gave me a lot of understanding that I think that it's hard to find when you are within anything. It's hard to see even our own faults and flaws if we're only looking from within and not getting information from outside. This also gave me the opportunity to understand connection and community on a much deeper level. For me, connection and community is primary and paramount. I've always been an outsider, call it my neurodivergence, call it just the fact that some people walk outside the lines. Uh, because I've always been an outsider and never quite felt that I belonged anywhere, I also saw the beauty in belonging on a level that many people probably do not. Being raised to believe that it was my job to heal, along with raised with this broad understanding of more holistic medical practices. I was able to go into medicine early on and I did medicine for a good portion of my life after I did the military of course. Um, and so I have a good understanding of both uh, holistic medicine, uh, pre-modern medicine, and modern medicine, having worked in both fields and having been a part of both fields. As I got older and I stopped focusing so much on parenting and started focusing on a few other things, I decided to pursue a degree that I had long wanted um, because I had different reasons at that point of time. And so with a desire to show the world just who we are truly, um, without the bullshit that society has taught you, I went and pursued a degree in archaeology with a couple of focuses. I focus on paleoanthropology, which is the study of early humans, and I also focus on the study of Europe pre-Christian colonization. These focuses have given me an understanding of what it is to be innately human. And what I am working on is sharing that with you. Oftentimes we believe that to be innately human means to be innately evil. That there's this battle against original sin or two wolves or something that you're battling inside of yourself to be kind and connected and loving. But I would argue that innately we are kind and connected and loving. And if you're constantly believing that you are innately something bad that you're fighting against to be a perfection that you can never achieve, it gives you a great deal level of self-hate. 
and it disconnects you. And I want to show people this innate beauty and goodness within us because if you can understand that you're not innately evil, then you know that you can change anything that might be evil in your own mind within you. Not that I think very many of us have evil within our own mind within us. So through curiosity and understanding and paleoanthropology and an understanding of who all of us are pre-Christian colonization, I would like to invite you to listen to some of the things I have to say, join my lives, watch some of my videos, and understand that innately you are nurturing, communal, and curious. And when we come back to the idea that we are innately nurturing, communal, and curious, we can actually take care of each other, get rid of this disconnect within us that's driving high depression rates and high rates of unaliving, especially in young men. So I invite you to hear, to understand, to learn more, and to see the beauty not only within yourself and your soul, but the beauty within every soul around you from the tree, to the dog, to the earth beneath your feet, to your neighbors, and to each other. And to move back towards the communal understanding that we all had prior to 10,000 years ago, and the advent of stratification, um, and the advent of violence. Move back to that 290,000 years of existence where we took care of each other and loved each other so that maybe we can move forward into a better world where we aren't suffering like this. I am Sarah and I am a Weta and I invite you to truly understand who we are so that you can truly understand how beautiful and valuable you are.